Hello everybody, John here. Welcome to another LEGO review. It's been a good while, but I've gone through like two versions of this video already. So third time's the charm, let's get into it. So in today's video, we're looking at set number 75362, Ahsoka's T-6 Jedi Shuttle. This is the second time we're seeing this set uh, or this type of ship in a set. Previously, we had one during the Clone Wars uh, TV show in the early years where they had the creepy faces. So I'm gonna be throwing up pictures and stuff as we go along. But yeah, we used to have this ship here is a bit bigger, similar to how the Ghost is now, where the Ghost used to be bigger in the last one, and now we have the new Ghost, and that one's a bit smaller. But looking at our figures here, we have four figures, all like super stacked, like when it comes to this set and the other Ahsoka sets. So looking at first, we have Ahsoka herself with her two white lightsabers with like a new kind of piece where it's like a foggy white uh, piece, like it's not like a full white rod, it's not how it was for the original Ahsoka from like Rebels era, how she had like the blue rods, but we have a like clear white, a new Leku piece. This is our fifth version of Ahsoka now. Uh, we have the two young ones. We have the one from the beginning of the Clone Wars. We have more Jedi Ahsoka where she had the red tunic on. And then we had Siege Mandalore, the one from Rebels, which is like a million dollars for some reason. And now we have this one at her oldest uh, age in the timeline. She got printed arms, great printing just all around. Two faces, one happy or one content, I guess, and one angry for fighting. All, all around just fantastic figure. Then we go to Sabine Wren. This one has her nice purple hair. She has her lightsaber because as Hugh Yang uh, de details us in the show, since she did some modifications, this is not Ezra's anymore. It is now Sabine's lightsaber. So she comes with two blasters as well. One I have hidden in the ship, which we'll get to momentarily. And of course her Mandalorian helmet, which if anybody has the previous helmet or knows of the first Sabine with her red helmet, that helmet goes for like $80 or something like that just by itself. Uh, but now if you want a nice cheaper version of Sabine, um, I mean, this one I think is pretty stellar. Just like with the two expressions again, one content, one angry. Uh, plus the helmet, I think just all around, this is a fantastic figure. Moving on to Hu Yang himself, Professor Hu Yang, being about 25,000 years old. He's the uh, droid made for, uh, created at the beginning of the Jedi Order to help people like create lightsabers and like train as a Jedi. He comes with a nice little wrench. He has a little backpack piece where he has like his different arms and everything. This is actually based off of his Clone Wars design where he was a more tan and like beige color opposed to now in the show him being a bit more silver. So I know some people have kind of said like, why does he look different? It's because this is based off the Clone Wars design, which is the only other time we saw him. So he's in the beige design, but nice molded head. Uh, and he's got his wrench, of course, to fix up the ship while Ahsoka and Sabine go and fight Morak. Morak being seemingly the last Inquisitor. Um, we learned from episode four. I'm recording this right after episode five came out. Don't worry, I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about episode four, though, where Hu Yang is fixing the ship, which we actually see on the back of the box, which is interesting. But Hu Yang's fixing the ship, and then Ahsoka and Sabine go and fight Morak, which actually happens in the episode, which is pretty fun that they kind of show that off on the box well before the episode came out. But Morak has, of course, his Inquisitor lightsaber. He has a tunic very similar to uh, the Grand Inquisitor with that molded piece. He has the clip on the back for the lightsaber to go in. And he has no face because in the end, it was revealed that he was a big fart cloud. So I'm sure a lot of people are punching the air right now, uh, <laughs> wanting to believe that it would, you know, it was going to be Starkiller. But it seems that due to Night Sister magic of some kind by Morgan Elsbeth, Marak might have been possessed or just a reanimated corpse of some kind and was like a nice like agent of darkness to kind of use like an expendable person because he seemed to be already dead. But anyway, those are our four figures. Of course, really awesome. This set goes for uh, $79.99 or about $80. So for these four figures and this whole ship here, I think it's pretty solid. So we're going to jump into the ship itself. We have our little cockpit piece. You know, it's a printed piece. Don't have to put any stickers on it, which I think is awesome because it is a clear piece. It's really nice that we don't have to put a sticker on it. It has two, shoot, two stud shooters by the front. And then, of course, the tail gun at the back, which we see in the show where Sabine jumps in there and is able to shoot from it. But lifting up our flaps here, we have uh, some little storage units, one for maybe weapons. The other ones for like Hu Yang's wrench at the shelf and the instructions and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty nice that you can store some stuff away. Uh, again, only one person fits, so you can't really fit any figures in there. But then we have the main function of the ship, which is going to be the spinning of the wings. So just like in the show, just like in universe, the actual wings of the ship will spin around. You have to hold it from the back at kind of like a weird angle to really get it like rotating at a good speed. But it's really awesome that it has like full rotation, like a fully around the ship. 
and then you can of course lay it down uh, horizontally with these little flaps that allow it to uh, kind of rest by itself so you can display it like that i'm sure people have already made stands for it to stand up vertically as if it's flying but I think it's pretty cool that you can also just lay it down here and it's not just going to fall over or anything like that. Then I will say the only thing is that, of course, you have the more detailed upper side that is, uh, you know, meant to be seen. And the other side, which is supposed to be like just a complete mirror, is just like the underside of the bricks and it's kind of just all gray. It would have been nice if with the same thing with the Bad Batch shuttle and the upper fin that you made like the, you built it like inversely. So it was still the bottom of the bricks, maybe. However, uh, you have it to where like it's still the same colors on the opposite side. Either way, I'm going to be displaying it laying down like this, or maybe I'll get a stand later on where I show off the displayed side. Not a big deal for me, but I just think that this set is pretty solid for, uh, for the Ahsoka series. I mean, you get the titular character herself, you get Ahsoka, Sabine, Hu Yang, and Marok. Uh, all the sets, as I said before, are pretty stacked up where you get like Bail and Hadi, um, or uh, sorry, Balin, Shin, Hadi's her last name, Balin, Shin, Morgan Elsbeth, uh, like all those characters in like one set. You get um, Hera, Jason, Chopper, the other two pilots in the ghost set. So I think it's really cool that you get like a lot of nice prominent characters, no repeats, anything like that uh, in all of these sets. But anyway, just wanted to go over uh, this brief little look here at the set. I'm trying to, again, trial and error these videos of how to get the formula down. I mean, I covered all the Sonic sets in like 15 minutes. So I'm hoping that I can cover this set in a little bit of shorter amount of time because it is just one set. Um, so it's a nice challenge, I guess, to not ramble on for so long. But overall, great set. Highly recommend getting it. It's out now. I'm sure you can find it at your local Lego store. Get some nice VIP points. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Go definitely get this set. If you like the video, you can like it, leave a comment, uh, and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be doing a room tour soon of all my Lego stuff because I kind of want to move some stuff out. So I'm able to bring in some new sets. Like I already kind of need to find a spot for this one on top of everything else that came out and is coming out. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like it, like it, comment if you want. And I will see you guys in the next video. So see you then.